Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, today I am so excited for today's video. Oh my God. Okay, you guys know how much I love unboxing things. I just did an Essence unboxing, which I will link up here. If you missed it, you should definitely check it out because, girl, that box. I had some thoughts on that, so definitely check it out. And uh, today, as you saw in the title and the thumbnail of today's video, girl, we are here for another advent calendar, but today's is not just any advent calendar. <laughs> Guys, today it is this advent calendar. Look at how big this is. This is, oh my God. It gives me all the feelings. Like, can you see how happy I am? I'm just like, hello, hi, do you wanna be my friend? Like, do I? does this look so inviting to anybody else? Like, when I received this in the mail, again, oh, by the way, I haven't said this yet, hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, I promise I've done this before. Um, this is from Glossy Box, and they have like a subscription service. This isn't sponsored or anything. Um, I have had Glossy Box. I don't know if I currently have the subscription or not. But what really interested me in this box were all the details on their website because, according to them, and again, we'll get into like the actual unboxing here in a second. But according to them on their website, which, excuse me, let me one second, let me just like pull it up. Yes, because I did not want to get this wrong here. Again, on their website, it says that this box has 25 products in it, 15 of them are full size products, and it retails for over $500. $100. And I was like, ooh, bougie page is in love, honey bunches. I don't know about anybody else, but that sounds a lot better than the Essence one that I unboxed. Like, let me just tell you. Oh, girl, I'm so excited. So we're going to go ahead and just dive right in. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and talk about cost. Because obviously, girl, she costs more than the one from Essence. But honestly, not as bad as you'd think. I think the one from Essence was $40, I want to say, right in that range. And this is $99. So basically $100 bucks if you do not have a subscription to Glossy Box. And if you do have a subscription to them, it is $89. So you'd save $10, bucks, which is great. It's like 10%. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in to this big bad boy. Like, look it. Oh, my God. The packaging is so good. I did already already undo this little tie right here over for you guys on Instagram. So you saw like a little sneak peek if you follow me there. Hello. <laughs> you should definitely follow me there. It's great. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive in. So let's do a little untying here. Brown chicka brown cow. Let's do it. Open it up. Oh my God. Hello. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, goodbye. I don't need you. So it just fell out like the little booklet did, but this is the inside. Like, guys, is this not just amazing? I think that the packaging and the presentation on this is so beautiful. Like, if I were to receive an advent calendar or give one to someone, I feel like this is what I would want it to look like. Like, something that you can tell there's value in, there's construction in. Like, even the little side panels here are so beautiful. Everything has that really nice foil to it. You can see right there. And all of these little boxes are just so freaking cute. Like, look at how adorable this is. Hello? I'm obsessed. All right, so opening up number one. Ooh, okay, so this is from the brand Alterna, and this is their Caviar Anti-Aging Restructuring Bond Repair Leave-In Overnight Serum, and it says that this strengthens and protects damaged hair up to 450 degrees. Honey, this is like a full size. Where's my little booklet? Hello, where'd I file that? Oh, I filed it across the room. <laughs> I was gonna look up and see how much it is, but guys, this is the brand Alterna. This is a really good brand. Okay. This actually smells like you zested an orange into this bottle. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God, I love you. I love you so much more. All right guys, number two is coming in. Oh, excuse me. So rude. So rude. If you could, could you just, I'm gonna get a cut. Number two. All right, and then number two is from Love or L-O-V. This is their Blush Mint Blurring Blush. I've actually never heard of this brand. This is kind of exciting. Oh, and it's pretty and it's like that marbled pink. Hello. That is so pretty. Okay, can't wait to use you. Time for number three. What is in the box? We have this. And this is the, ooh, Flower Bomb. Okay, this is a mini perfume from Victor and Rolf. It's very much so like when I smell this, I get like an old timey kind of floral, like where floral would meet baby powder. But I do feel like this is kind of one of those like sample size moments where you would get this or something similar to it for free with purchase. So just something to keep in mind, not every square is full size. Number four. Hmm. And in here, we have something from Avant. This is their Hyaluronic Mary Smarask Jojoba Oil. What, 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 what is this? Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream. Oh, it's a day cream. <laughs> I was over here thinking it was like a face mask. Okay, um, again, from the brand Avant, and it says, apply in the morning after cleansing and applying your serum. Oh, so it's just like a regular day cream. Okay, it's nothing crazy. Ooh, let's take a little look. Guys, I am so into skincare right now. Like, oh man, my face has changed so, so much lately. I'm just all about good skincare and seeing this makes me just like really happy. Oh, it's a thicker cream too. Okay. And I love that it's infused with hyaluronic acid and it smells really fresh too. Like, ooh, 
just incredibly light and fresh and it doesn't feel like overly thick but it does have a really nice like soak in effect that's like a medium cream like it's not a super super thick cream but it has a little bit of that cream element to it but it sinks in really nicely without leaving any weird residue to it Ooh, okay love me a good face cream you know what else is on time number five i just can't help myself all right let's do this one and for number five we have the philip kingsley elasticizer what the hell is it intense super conditioning pre-shampoo treatment for all hair types adds elasticity manageability bounce and shine Okay, guys, I am actually really loving that they incorporated some nice hair ingredients or like hair products. Ooh, another good one. Look at this, like right in the middle. I feel like I'm playing Jenga. This is wonderful. Number six, right? Ooh, and it's light. <gasps> I'm a little nervous. What's in there? Girl, what, what is going to be in number six that is in a long box but is light? It's going to be a pencil. Okay, it's not a pencil. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, This is from the brand, oh, do, uh, do, do see or do say or whatever. I've, we've seen this before in like BoxyCharm and stuff. This is a part of their Freematic eyeshadow. Oh, it's a single shadow. Okay, and these are one of those like long oblongs that go in their um in their little kits that they have. I will say I've gotten quite a few of these, like I said, from BoxyCharm and stuff, and the quality isn't my favorite. I feel like, like, look at that. It looks really, really dark and like intense, impactful in the pan. And then when you go to swatch it, it's just very I don't know, like kind of chalky in a way. And I just, I don't know, the quality for me on these isn't there. Um, yeah, this, this I'm not, this is probably the first item that I'm just kind of like meh about. It's my opinion, just my opinion, just giving my two cents, okay? It's my job. I mean, quite literally what I'm doing here is giving my, my opinion on everything in life and eating veggie straws. Don't judge me. Look at that. It even says sensible, sensible portions. You'd probably have to eat a portion for it to be sensible, but that's not what we're talking about today. Now, number seven is right below 17, so we're going to have a little bit of a falling moment here. A falling out, if you will. Girl, I was joking. Don't fall. Shh. So this brand I have seen before. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's O-R-I-B-E. It's either like Oribe or Oribe or something like that, but I have seen them before. And it says here that this is a high shine nail polish in the shade the violet oh that's good that's gonna be something i like i can already tell you oh oh my oh, i'm sorry packaging everybody freeze what is happening here look at the pa the packaging on this nail polish. i've literally i've never seen a package like this for nail polish ever it even has like look at this just look <laughs> just look at it it has a thing on the top of it it has this long handle and then just the bottle like the component oh my god this is such a not stock item i feel like this component itself is expensive like i man i wish i had the book with me i you know what where's my phone i don't have the book because i'm lazy and we both know i'm not going to get up but i am going to google it and see what it is oh my word their nail polish is at 32 dollars 30 two dollars and they have great reviews by the way oh oh my number eight this one also feels kind of small. Let's see what is in here. Oh, it's another box. It's a box within a box. And this is, oh, it's a lash curler. Oh my God, rose gold lash curler from the brand Fur. Never have I heard of Fur. Oh, but I love me a good lash curler. Okay, I don't know if this is good or not. We're gonna Google this too, just cause I wanna know. Um, okay, so I think I just got redirected to the UK site. I think this might be like a UK brand, but it is 15 euros and um, it actually has really good reviews on the Glossy Box website. I'll definitely give this a try. But yes, we're finally traveling to this top row, girl. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely up here. Number nine, excuse me, number nine, excuse me. You're ruining, you're, you're really ruining this for me. Thank you. Okay, this purifying shampoo, oh, interesting, is ideal as a detox or post-coloring treatment. Apply to wet hair, massage the scalp, let lather and rinse. Use a nourishing treatment uh, to the length if needed, so as a conditioner. The scalp is healthy and soothed and hair is shiny and light. Okay, so this is basically like an exfoliant, but for your hair. Um, I believe Brio Gio has one of these and it's actually really, really nice. And it's a good way to go in and like remove all of like the dry skin or dead skin up here that you get. It, um, as well as get rid of any product. Number 10, number 10, you want number 10, number 10, number 10. Starts with a one and a zero at the end. All right, and this is from Steve Laroche, and this is a, what is this, eggplant. 
It's a oh, it's a lip gloss. Oh my god, yes. Ooh, that is really pretty though. Okay, yeah, I will definitely play around with this a little bit more. Love me a good glossy moment. Okay, <laughs> love me a good glossy box moment. <laughs> See what I did there? <gasps> but it, it, it shh, get it because <laughs> it's because it's glossy box. Oh, I, I slay me. Who else loves the fact that I literally did this? Like I lightly scratched my chest right here, and do you see how red I am? It looks like Wolverine just attacked me and tried to take my shirt off. Well, <laughs> daydream for another time, Paige. Ooh, girl. It looks like we are moving on to a level. Oh, there's like nothing in here. Oh, if you are another single shadow, girl, I'm gonna be so upset. Ooh, it's not. So it's a triangle type tip here, and the color isn't bad. It's a little bit more like green, cool kind of undertone than I would reach for. And okay, a spoolie on the other end. So yeah, you only get this one color. Um, I'm pretty sure this is what they're trying to pull off now, like this kind of taupe or a universal shade. And for me, like on a lighter day, I would wear this just because I can really, really lighten the color. I'll spoolie it in, and I'll go in with a brow gel anyways, so I will use it. Um, I'm just not a big fan of like like universal products in general when it comes to like color or complexion or anything like that. Um, but as far as the consistency goes, it is a little bit on the dry side, but I do think that if you worked with it for a minute, it could work. And I think that Winky Lux is a more affordable brand as well. So I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. We're moving on up, moving on up to number 12, number 12. Here we have, oh, we have something from First Aid Beauty. Girl, I love First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. And I believe this is just like a regular moisturizer, right? Like apply as needed all over your hands, that sort of thing. And I love, did I mention, girl, I love First Day Beauty. They are so, so good. Oh, wow. And it smells good. It's very nice citrusy. I think it said on the front, honeysuckle. Is that what that said? Yes, honeysuckle. I definitely can pull that up. Like that nice kind of natural-esque feel. Oh my God. Look at little number 13 just sitting over here being kind of cute, kind of small. I wonder... There, hello, like, is there even anything in here? This is a teeny tiny little sample of the iLure. I think this is iLure. Or no, it's iCo, I'm sorry. The iCo Black Magic Mascara for drama and curl. Um, this right here for me is kind of right along the same lines as that perfume. Like, ugh, I'm not a big fan. Like, I feel like if you're going to put a mascara in there, it needs to at least be like a deluxe or a full size. Like, I think a full size would be preferred. Um, but I think putting some, this is like a sample mascara. And I just don't think that something like this deserves its own box, in my opinion. 14, 14, 14, and about it. Ooh, this one's got some heft. Okay, and this is from, how do you say this brand? This is, okay, so it's supposed to be a three and then INA, um, which is why I was so confused because like the emblem, let me show you. That right there is the emblem. So it's supposed to be a three and then INA, not not minor, whatever the hell I was thinking. It says it is a long lasting eyeshadow for intense shimmery magnetic color for all day wear and it is waterproof. Oh, oh wow. I like that. I like that texture a lot too. It's a really nice like light whipped kind of cream texture. <gasps> Oh, that's be that's really beautiful. That's really beautiful. This could make it into pages like everyday wear. Um, guys, like it. Oh wow, this really is resistant. Oh my god, I just had to scrub to remove this. That is crazy. All right, girl number fifteen, right over here. We have a good little slender moment happening. We have the Dr. Botanicals P.O. Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. A light like almost light grapefruit kind of smell, but like holy moisturizing Batman. Can you see that? Whoa. Oh girl, little teeny tiny 16 right here. Right, so this is the Invisibobble Traceless Hair Ring. Oh, I've used these a ton. I actually have some. These are really great for um, putting your hair back. They're, they're the things that look like an old-style phone cord. And P.S., for those of you that are too um, young to know what an old-style phone cord is, like an old, like one of these, girl. You don't even know what you're missing. Look it up. I tell you what, um, because the rest of us have had to untangle these before for literally 22 years when they get a kink in them. But wow, these are actually really, really nice. I love that it has a little charm on it too. Um, these are great though. They're really good for um, putting your hair back and they don't leave like a crimp in your hair at all. Oh girl, look at us. We're busting into the big beefies because now we got a 17. Look at how big 17 is. Wait. It's a little light in there, 17. It's a little light. All right, and here we have something from Absolute New York. This is their liquid lipstick. It is matte, made in heaven. <laughs> That is good marketing. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and take a little gander here at the liner, which is just this little mini guy. Look at how cute. That's actually really inventive, especially if you're like on the go. Oh, and it's super creamy. You guys see this? Look at that. 
Ooh, girl, she's got some cream factor to her. Okay. All right, girl, we're down here. We're on to number 18. There's some good ones left. Like, I really want to know what's in 21, 19, 25. Like, I, I want to know what's happening. And I love that this box keep, makes me, like, want more. Like, it, it keeps bringing me back in. Like, I'm going to unbox the whole thing, but it makes me want to unbox it. Like, girl, I'm, I'm interested. What is in there? All right, now, 18, we have from Apto Skincare. This is their turmeric healing mask. And what does it say here? Use this mask to combat unforeseeable skin conditions and to reduce redness. Azelaic acid, azelaic acid? Never heard of that one. Azelaic, azelaic acid works to remove dead skin cells, treat rosacea, and prevent breakouts without compromising even the most sensitive skin types. Interesting. There's actually a lot of brands in here that I've never used before, and I kind of love that. Like, I love that I'm getting to see things I wouldn't normally see. Oh, girl, we're on to number 19. Yes, honey. Oh, okay, so in here, we we have it's the season two big louse this is their exclusive blending sponge it doesn't even say a brand it's just their in-house brand sponge um and i'm not gonna judge though because there are some amazing amazing sponges that are affordable um oh oh this is dense girl like i have to wow i don't know that i would love this for foundation specifically but i actually think this would work really nice for a cream blush or for a cream contour to blend out because it is on the more dense side i'll definitely definitely give that a go girl yes please girl we're on to the terrible 20 right here yes please that one's actually kind of heavy i want to know what's in there oh we have another nail polish see the one time i don't guess nail polish the one time girl this is from morgan taylor and this is their professional nail lacquer and it is in the shade copper dream guys this is wow is this stunning i love this color i don't know how well you guys can see that color but oh my god it is beautiful 21 look at 21 oh that was disappointing it is whatever's in here it is very very light and i was really hoping it was going to be like i don't know a man or something um uh, and it's just like it's very very light okay that's okay don't judge a book girl do not look at how big this is though oh hello all right so in there it looks like we have two different eye masks and i'm just really glad they're not like all over face masks because girl that was so like 2017 that was the fad 2017 going into 2018 and now i feel like those big sheet masks unless they're from tatcha they're just like not so much of a trend anymore but eye patches are really coming into their own and i love a good under eye patch so we have perk up which is this one and then we have happy place over here um this one has rose hibiscus and lotus flower while this one has green tea bergamot and white mulberry and they are from the brand patchology or mood patch mood patch patchology the brand would be patchology and what they are would be mood patch i'm assuming all right number 22 two crammed in here i think it does no oh, no it doesn't yes it does okay first of all goodbye goodbye okay so this one is a sample of perfume again i don't think this even should have been in here this is armani code absolute by giorgio armone and this is um a bigger bottle of it <laughs> like what is what is it what are these the same this is ridiculous this should never be its own thing right here this is literally what you get for free anytime you do anything so i this should not have been a box okay let's go ahead and just spray this just a little bit here Wow. When I smell that, I think a lot of things. I think like baby powder. I think old people. I think, I don't know what, but oh guys, that's, that's a lot. Okay. And this is like, I think the same type of thing, maybe. Nope. There for the rest of my life. Great. Great. Love that. Love that for me. All right, guys, only three left. We're going in the middle first. We got 23 from Context. This is their Microderm Regenerator. It says this two-in-one daily cleanser and gentle exfoliator soothes and purifies skin as it effectively cleanses. Okay, so it's basically just like a face wash. All right. This has absolutely no smell and a really nice fine grit to it. And again, another one that I've never heard of. Okay, cool. 24, second to last, and then there are no more. Ah. Oh, yes. This is a nude sticks. Oh, my compliments to the chef, Glossy Box. This is good. More of this. This is in the shade Mystic, and it is their lip and cheek pencil. I absolutely love nude sticks. Uh-huh. Love me some nude sticks, even though it's just like a standard wood pencil. I really like it. I love that it has like a nice, more natural kind of satin finish. Oh, I like this, and I really like the color. Mm-hmm. That's a win. All right, Glossy Box, it's just you and me, number 25. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's time to do it. Yes. 
So on the 25th day, we have... <gasps> Shit. <laughs> A palette and a brush, girl. Okay, oh, a Luxie. Girl, Luxie has some good brushes. This is their 207 medium angle shading brush. Okay, not bad. It's not my favorite profile, but it works really good if I wanna like get out here on that outer V and kinda get after it. Or inner, inner eye right there, also good for that. Luxie is a good, good brand. And then the little palette we have is from Ciate. Okay, okay, Ciate. All right, and then here she is, set up very similar to just like a little Miss Huda Beauty palette. They are cruelty-free and vegan here, according to the back of the palette. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're definitely gonna like do a little swatch. Oh, okay. All right, so I only swatched five out of the nine. I love this shade right here, and I love this like coral orange right here. They're beautiful. This red one's really nice too. They're all really nice, but I think that these two and then this one are my favorite. There's a lot of like little diversity in here. Okay, Ciate, I see you. All right, you guys, that is everything that was in the box. What do you guys think? Um, To give you kind of my final thoughts, I think first of all, I know it's obviously like double the price of the Essence one, but quality to quality and like value to value, this is way, way better. I feel like they only put a couple little like what I would call a throwaway item in this box. I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think of this box? Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it was a good box? Um, have you ever tried or heard of any of the products that I said I hadn't? And if so, what do you think of them? Because I know that a lot of you guys hail from like other areas of the country as well as the world. And if you have experience with a product that I've never heard of, girl, drop it down below. What are you waiting for? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And also, by the way, if you uh, have another advent calendar on your mind and you were like, hey girl, will you check this one out? Like, what do you think? Please hit me up and let me know because I want to get in on that. Um, I did see that the Mac one released and it only released to the UK which I thought was really weird so I will keep an eye out for that if you guys know of a release date for it because I've had a quite a few requests for that one uh, let me know that down below as well but most importantly you guys if you have not done so please subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel girl these shoulders were coming at you every single day Monday through Friday they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan and you guys ha huh, that is it thank you all so much for watching and for hanging out with me please do not forget to have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one Bye. Now we hold on with this hand and we reach really far with this hand. Ha <laughs> ha, I did it. Queen of not getting up to get anything. I think that just means I'm really lazy, but it's fine. Man, it's so good. Hello, be oh, that mic is real close. <laughs> Literally almost hit my face other people and their loud stupid cars are annoying thank you for coming to my ted talk slash mukbang slash this isn't a mukbang oh it could be a mukbang there you go thank you for coming it's been crunchy <laughs> can't even keep his right face <laughs>